Welcome back to Trinidad and Tobago, and we continue to bring you the latest uh, in terms of the news cycle. We understand that uh, there was a murder that occurred uh, early this morning. Uh, we are still getting details on it, but the murder apparently occurred at Don Donnell Hill on a long circular. Uh, what we can tell you, it's uh, the victim has been identified as Shaquille Murphy. He was shot three times. Uh, in a short bit, we will have some images to share uh, with you from the scene of the crime that, that took place this morning. Morning. But what we can tell you is that yet another murder has been recorded, this at Don Donnell Hill in Long Circular. The victim has been identified as Shaquille Murphy. Uh, we are told that he was shot three times about the body. Uh, this morning, residents uh, contacted the police, and when they arrived, they found his lifeless body in a pool of blood. So we will have more information as uh, details come to hand. We are now switching our focus. Uh, this as a story occurred over the weekend, and joining us on the line at this time, I'm Garth Sinclair. Uh, we're talking a little bit about LSD and substance abuse. I know that we initially touched on this topic uh, with Mr. Sinclair a couple weeks ago, but it seems as though uh, things are escalating. Good morning, Garth. How are you? Good morning, Hima. I'm fine. Now, I know um, initially we'd spoken about a drug problem in the country during the time of COVID, and I know you said that at this time for drug addicts and for those who are also trying to wean away from this type of life, uh, that this lockdown would be of particular, pro would pose particular problems to that sector of society. But today yes. we're, we're switching our focus and you know, the experimental drugs and young people, um, and I'm asking this, you know, after news came about the LSD and the cocktails and the mixing of the cocktails. So is there a drug problem with, I think they're, contact they're referred to as psychedelic drugs. Is that, is that the correct term? So is there, is this, is, are we seeing increased usage of it at this time? Well, there, there will be, um, because it's the safest, uh, even though now um, it's categorized as, uh, as an illegal substance now here in Trinidad, because remember, at one time LSD and all of these other drugs were illegal here, but now they are. But they're still easy accessible, and um, especially for, for, for doctors, I mean, if the police doctors are person in a car and they, they have pills, all they can say is medication, they may have a prescription, and the police will be done the wiser. So it's a safer way to have drugs on a person, on your person, and move around with it. It's not a joint, you know, it's not like cocaine okay rock. So, it, yeah, it, 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 it would escalate to, um, because it's easy accessible now and you don't have to go on a block to get it. Um, with regards to, and I, I think you're, you're referring to the, the substitution that happened with the doctor as well, yes. right? Yes. Yes. Right. Now, um, doctors too are even more, you know, even, even more at risk for especially prescription drug abuse, opioid, and these LSD and all these things fall under that category. And um, you know, it's, it's it's so strange that um, doctors are supposed to be the beacon of health and. No one expects them to, but they're human. Mm -hmm. And they too, because of the pressures of the job, remember doctors have their own issues to deal with, and opioids are available to them. So it's, it's like doctors have their own drug block, if you understand what I'm saying. Do that you find, you know, when you make that, that doctors are more susceptible to that, is there is there a drug problem in the medical fraternity at this time that we may, we may be unaware of? Yeah, of course, I'm sure there is, because there were studies done um, in 2014, right, there were studies done on, um, and, and you can research this in Medical Student Research Journal, and it said that physicians have a higher rate of, of prescription drug abuse than the general population. And for many reasons, they work long hours, they try to perform each other's job, doctors, uh, and then doctors don't report suspicious activity by other doctors because fear of retribution, you know, fear of losing the doctor, losing the job, and, or they don't know where to report. Now, there was, um, there was a guy called William Halstead, I think was, it? yes, William Halstead, the father of U.S. surgery, he, 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 he got addicted to cocaine while experimenting with it as anesthetic, mm -hmm. and they had to treat him with morphine. That led to another addiction. Now, doctors are susceptible because, let's face it, they, you know, um, they have a lot of, of uh, on their plate, right? They are asked to perform long hours, and some of them, coping skills and peer pressure would come into play. Now, re remember that they, they have to 
but deal with people who are depressed. They have to give people bad news, so they will have to use drugs for, for, for depression. And then they have to keep up, and they have to keep up with the demand for them, so they have to use uppers. They, as I said, and they have access to all of these drugs right there. They have their own drug block, so to speak, so that they can pop a pill anytime just to keep going. And um, their parents will see them, you know, going, and let's say, let's say the younger ones will see older doctors, they wonder how they go. And sometimes they have to turn to opioids so that they can keep up with the demand. And alcohol, too, would play a very important part. Tell me a little bit about when you talk about the peer pressure, because, um, you know, I look at the uppers on the psychedelic drugs, but what we are told is that there was a mix of, co of a cocktail. What happens when you, when you mix these drugs together? Right. Now, most of the time, they would use alcohol with these drugs. So let's look at alcohol. Alcohol is a depressant. And these other psychedelic drugs um, are stimulants. When you combine both, and sometimes they would use LSD and cocaine together. So we're talking about two stimulants and, and, and a hallucinogen combined with alcohol. Some people can, can suffer um, or have psychotic reactions to these drugs. And so your body now has to cope with regulating the blood pressure and temperature at the same time. And for a rookie taking ingesting this concoction can have serious psychotic um, um, backlash to it. They actually feel like someone is chasing them. Somebody will hear a voice in the head to tell them they hurt somebody or jump or hit someone. It happens, studies were done on these things. Now, with the, the, the peer pressure, they, remember the, the medical school don't prepare you for this. Yeah. Um, so when they get out there and they, 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 know they join up with the group, well, they, they, they have that time they need to let their hair down. And because of coming out of some, let's say a patient they were taking care of dies, and another doctor would see that and try to cheer them up and say, look, Come and check us later, and we have a little lime, and, and in that lime would have these, um, you know, various uh, medications. They, they sell Are you seeing, God, I know from your work, you obviously interact with a number of persons and also parents who are trying to, to intervene, or those family members trying to intervene. Are you seeing an increase in the usage of LSD and other psychedelic drugs, as opposed to the marijuana and others? You were contacted by a couple of parents. Yes, um, I got a couple of about three, three parents reached out to us, and even last night another one reached out to us from the people. Yes, we have seen an increase in those because, as I said, they are safer to move around with, and they, they, they don't have a smell. So you go in a room, you pop a pill, and you come back out. It's easier, and we will see an increase in it because, as I said, it's safer to have on you. At this point in time, you don't have to go on a drug block at night to risk your life to get a, a, a rock cocaine or marijuana. And then there are people who would have it delivered to them. So once you have the means to do that, yes. So yes, we have seen from the phone calls that we've gotten that, that um, there's an increase in the, in the intake of these drugs. And what we even worse now, no rehab facility is admitting anyone because of, well, for obvious reasons. Right. So parents now and families now have to deal with this, um, trying to keep the person indoors. How, and how would you know if someone in your family is, because you know the signs of marijuana. I mean, marijuana has a smell, um, you know. But how would you know if, if someone um, is taking LSD or other types of drugs? How, what are the intervention methods that we can use then? They would have severe mood swings. They will be paranoid. Um, anytime you ask them a question, they feel that you're probing. They would be locked up in their rooms for very long hours. Or the bathroom. Sometimes they go to the bathroom and if you want to use the bathroom and they stay like 20, 30 minutes. And they would be you're always on edge. Then once they get it, they will be happy and easy to speak with. And when you ask them about their behavior, they get angry again. So all of these are designed, and if they're using um, uppers, uppers don't last long in the system. So which means that they would have
have to be going out a lot at night. Sometimes they would have to sneak out of the house while everyone is sleeping. And um, so these are some of the signs. Now, how you treat with it? This is the, the, the they have to um, reach out to institutions at least that can guide you over the phone. Um, as I said, we have the police house, we have new life ministries, we have uh, serenity place, but. You have to, the, the parents now would have to have the open skills and at the same time pre- prepare for, to take care of themselves, to look out for themselves because now you have to hide possessions, make sure that valuables are not within easy, easy reach of the individual because if you're out of money, they will take these valuables and go sell it or trade it for drugs. So you, you would have to, if you can afford that, if the person, you lock them in a room and keep them there, um, as some parents have done over this job. This restriction period. Some parents claim, um, said to us that they have a son in a room and he's not coming out. They're giving him food. He's doing all his numbers in the room and passing it over to them. And so some parents choose to deal with it like that. But then there are others who the person becomes so aggressive that they just can't cope with their behavior and they leave them alone. Now, God, I, you know, I, I'm trying to phrase this question in probably the most sensitive manner, but do you find the uppers or the psychedelic drugs are those that um you know maybe you know people t- say all the time about the marijuana use that they use it to to de-stress or they use it because that's just the, the impact that the um, marijuana has on on the brain but do you find in terms of the lsd and these type of drugs is it a particular i guess age group cl- um a geographic area that that is that seems to be where it's prevalent Because these drugs are very expensive, they're not. It's not a joint of marijuana you're talking about. Right. Um, yes, you, you, they, they are. But and then there are those who, in other areas, realize the potency and the the demand for it. So they now would have gotten it and extended it to other areas. But it would be more prevalent in you know in areas that um, let me just use it where we have to pay attention to. You know or attention by law enforcement is hardly, um, uh, is, you know, law enforcement hardly pay attention to these areas. We won't but see yes. police coming to kick doors down there, let's put it that way. No, yeah. no. And, and they, I mean, police can't kick those doors down, they solid doors. I mean, in the other areas where they can do that, it's like, they might hold their hands. It's easy for them to get inside there. But um, the, 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 the problem is that the areas where police cannot go or wouldn't be allowed to go, afraid to go, they would have them there because, as you said, they're very expensive and they can be easily had, you know, in these areas because a single credit card and you can get that. Um, somebody who's using marijuana on the other hand, and that's where, that's a big difference now with the marijuana user. If someone is using marijuana alone, then you wouldn't have much, many issues with them, you know. They would, it depends on the strain of marijuana, they take a smoke and they home and they chill in. They go and sleep, they sleep most of the time. But you wouldn't have much many issues with them unless your there's mental ill health in your family. Sure, yeah, and then it has an impact on the on the yes. on the brain. But Garth, we have about a minute again, and this is about the LSD and the the seeming rise of the use of L S of uh, psychedelic drugs in in our country. Your closing comments. What advice do you have for for those who may be experimenting with it at this time? Oh God, um, you know, the, the human being is they're so um, curious and. All I would say to people is learn your family history for your just drugs if you have to. My advice would be don't try them at all because I always tell people you cannot unpop a pill. Once you put it in your system, you will have to go on that journey. It will take you on a journey. You don't know how your system would react it. And in some in some instances, it can be fatal. So. Scott, I do want to thank you very much for, and I know you and Natasha continue doing the work that you are doing, um, but we, we do have to go straight to the 7 o'clock news. As Scott Sinclair, you can contact him if you have any questions about what we just spoke about.